winter has come to our corner of England's national forest and heavy rain has flooded the land. But the long black winter nights do not ease the badger's caution. Early November and high winds shock to the ground the last great bounty of autumn's hedgerow, crab apples. It's the last opportunity for an easy feast and the badgers make the most of it. They seem to be choosy, picking a few from the many, maybe the ripest. But did these apples ferment in their stomachs? Were our badgers drunk on cider? It's difficult to think of another explanation for their unsteadiness. But Jack Deer soon find the fruit. They feed the whole day as the low winter sun arcs across the sky. A fox passes by, perhaps on a more deadly errand. The last born muntjac fawn of the year is late to the party. But the golden days soon give way to mists and gloom as winter tightens its grip. The end of the year draws near. All but a few trees have shed their leaves and it's time to cover up the woodland tools. Time to give up memories of woodland parties, of barbecues, of nights under the stars. There's rain, mud and decay, nothing else. The last splashes of colour in the hedgerow are fading rose hips. Everything else is monochrome. Fog drapes the woods. The land is dormant. It's 10 days before winter solstice and I visit quarter mile thicket. It's as tangled and mysterious as ever.
I'm here to set my trail cameras to watch over our badger sets. It's a cold, foreboding day. Everything is still. Everywhere is quiet. The low winter sun gilds the treetops, but many places are permanently in shade. Remarkable it is that locked deep into this landscape are the seeds and colours of spring and summer. Hard to believe those warm, dry evenings when all the life of the woods found comfort and peace. But on that cold day in December, I didn't know that I would not walk here again for many, many weeks. I had somehow damaged a spinal nerve and walking more than a few yards was impossible. For 12 weeks, only my trail camera watched what was happening at the Badger Center. night in the depths of December, the badgers began mating. By mid-January, it's obvious the sow is heavily pregnant. And this pair chose the burrow right in front of a camera as the main entrance to their set. Just off camera is a second entrance to their underground home and the boar gathered bedding for their birth chamber. Two other mated pairs share the same network of tunnels and chambers and this inquisitive badger spotted one of the cameras.
last, I could walk again. The Prime Minister will chair a meeting of the government's emergency commission this morning, and the number of UK legalised cases is And I found the first hints of spring in our corner of England. It was good to be back. <laughs>